This is Euphoria Chalk, an easy to use powerful support tool that allows your workforce to collaborate in real time, anywhere. Chalk enables your workforce to connect for support or training. First, employees can share a live view of their workspace with an expert or coworker. The waste valve here. Now that that's closed, you can turn on your uh, surface wash valve, which is here. Okay, got it. Both people can draw on the world and work together as if they are together. And thanks to Vuforia augmented reality technology, your annotations stick exactly where they're drawn, even when you move around as you work. In fact, you can pause the live view to draw easy to follow multi-step instructions. With Chalk, simple instructions help you solve complex problems quickly and effectively. Chalk works on mobile devices, meaning your most experienced minds are accessible anytime, anywhere. And then you want to open either one of these two motor meters here. Having your best minds on the job remotely means solving the problem right the first time, reducing equipment downtime, and improving your bottom line. Chalk is ideal for service and training, and for other forms of collaboration too. Okay, and lower the tongue and let's lose this eyelid. It's easy for your team to work together or give feedback from almost anywhere in the world, saving you time and money. You did a great job your first time there, thank you. Accuracy, efficiency, collaboration. Chalk brings your workforce together with simple, intuitive tools they love to use. Euphoria Chalk, see it, solve it together. PTC Vuforia Chalk is an out-of-the-box collaboration app that provides real-time remote assistance. It combines live video, audio, and digital annotations over a shared view to enable improved communication between remote experts and frontline workers. In this video, we'll walk through a short demonstration showing how a remote expert connects with a field technician to help resolve an issue powering a motor. To start, the OEM remote expert who is using Chalk's web-based desktop mode, pictured on the left-hand side of the screen, will generate a connect code using the Chalk host's functionality to invite the customer's field technician to the Chalk call, even though they do not have a Chalk user account. Once connected, the field technician will share their device's view. Using Vuforia's computer vision technology, the field technician will use their phone to map the area creating a 3D environment that will allow annotations to stick to the objects shown in the physical world. As the remote expert and field technician communicate, they will use different colored chalk annotations to highlight specific buttons to press. The direction knob should be turned and point to things that the field technician should pay attention to. As the field technician pans their screen over to the monitor, wayfinding arrows appear to guide the on-site technician back to the specific location of the chalk annotations. Euphoria Chalk's advanced computer vision technology ensures every annotation can be precisely placed and remains right where you left it. This live, over-the-shoulder collaboration will allow the remote expert to walk the field technician through the troubleshooting steps necessary to generate power to the computer monitor and power on the motor solenoids. At the end of each session, the users will have access to a summary session recap which displays points of interest images that were automatically captured when a new chalk annotation was generated. These images can be attached to work orders as evidence of service work or can be used to scale service training for future field technicians. With chalk's real-time collaboration and incredibly accurate annotations, experts and technicians spend less time resolving issues, increasing operational productivity and efficiency, and improving customer satisfaction. Euphoria Chalk delivering expert support at scale with AR remote assistance. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you very much uh, for joining us uh, this afternoon. It is really wonderful to, to see you all coming in and joining us for a presentation with uh, Product One, PTC, and IDG in partnership. 
So today we're going to present for you before a chalk and also share with you a demonstration uh, that we have prepared for you. This is a remote assistance solution, real time solution and supported by that augmented reality. It's very important for us and to our customers and to those who are actually looking for a remote assistance. We have prepared for you a good solution. So we have our team that is around today to present for you. So I've got uh, Charles Anderson, who's going to be giving you a bit of a background about PTC product one and obviously with us IDG in partnership together. We then take this solution to the market. We also have Ross Anderson, who will then also share with us, you know, the before a chalk demonstration for all of you. And then we also have Lufuno Funo uh, Chidada. He is also one of the experts that will be uh, doing a demonstration for you as well. And then we also have Tebuho uh, Sandamela. Uh, he will be taking all your questions today. Maybe you can also put them onto your chat box and then he will mark all those questions to ensure that we all aligned um, in our, our, our questions time at the end. And then we also have Tato uh, in the back office. Tato is actually helping us with the back office operations. But thank you very much once again and enjoy the presentation with us today. And I'm going to hand over to uh, Ross, who, sorry to Charles, who will then take you with the presentation. Charles, thank you. Take care of this. Thank you very much, Lucky, for the introduction and a very warm welcome to everyone out there. Um, I guess it is appropriate that uh, we're doing a, a presentation on augmented reality uh, virtually because that's what it's actually all about. Um, but let me go and uh, give you a bit of an introduction into what augmented reality is uh, and then we'll get into Vuforia Chalk specifically. So I'm not sure uh, how many of you remember or maybe you have kids that, that use this um, Pokemon Go. So this was a craze a few years ago that really sort of um, launched augmented reality um, to the world. But today we're not talking, we're not um, playing games. We're, we're serious about the business that we need to, to do. So we're going to look at augmented reality in a business or industrial environment. And as the words say there, um, but maybe the picture describes it a little bit better. Um, augmented reality is all about having a view of the, the real world, but augmenting it with additional information, digital information, computer generated information that actually allows us to have a better understanding of what is happening out um, in, the, in the real world. So, you know, I don't have to talk about challenges that we, we face in, in South Africa, um, especially today, but um, in the context of something like Vuforia Chalk, I think it is important to just remind ourselves of a few of those. So top of mind for everyone at the moment is obviously employee safety. Um, thankfully, we're uh, have moved to, to lockdown level two, uh, but it is still or maybe even more so as important that we actually still maintain physical distancing as we go about our, our normal um, business and work operations. And then we've got a bit of a, a legacy of um, a generation maybe of, of skilled expert technicians um, who are moving out of the, the workforce 
and a talented new generation that are coming into the workforce. Uh, but there is a gap in skills between the two. So we need to see how it is that we can actually um, bridge that gap, transfer that knowledge from those experts um, to the talented novices. And then out in the field, in business, the products and the workspaces that we work in are more and more complex. It does take a lot more skill and knowledge to be able to work with them effectively and efficiently. Um, so this is yet another challenge that we face. And then our customers, or maybe you, are becoming even more demanding in terms of what you expect from your suppliers. Things need to be done faster. Um, they need to be more effectively done. Um, it's not just the millennials that can't wait more than three seconds for something to be fixed. And then, of course, the perennial issue of the economics of it all. How do we reduce costs? And in this particular context, we're looking at the issue of reducing costs when it comes to traveling, the travel costs associated with getting expert knowledge to a specific location, which can often be quite remote. Um, it might be it might just be across the other side of, of town, but even that is going to take a while to get to, let alone if it is um, out on a mine um, or a farm miles away from the closest support. So a little bit about Product One and PTC. Product One is a South African company that has been selling PTC-based solutions in South Africa for the last 29 years. Um, so obviously the next question then is who is PTC? So PTC is an innovative 35-year-old American software development company that currently employs about 6,000 people around the world. They started off their um, software suite with the innovative PTC Pro Engineer, which is now Creo, computer-aided design system. They've moved from that onto product lifecycle management to PTC Windchill. And then five or six years ago, they went into the very new and promising field of the industrial Internet of Things with PTC ThingWorks. And then the subject of today's talk, they branched, they added to that the capabilities of augmented reality with the PTC Vuforia suite of products. So within that augmented reality set of solutions, um, there's Vuforia Engine, which is a general widely used platform for augmented reality development for virtually any application that you might have a need for. Then there is Vuforia Expert Capture, and that is a very fast and easy way to actually create from an expert um, powerful step-by-step -step augmented reality instructions, which can be used out in the field by newer um, operators or technicians. Thirdly, Vuforia Studio allows you to create augmented 3D training and instructional experiences using graphical information, which is typically derived from the CAD environment. Again, to guide people as to how to efficiently and effectively perform operations. And then the subject of today's talk uh, Vuforia Chalk, which is a very powerful and intuitive application 
to provide remote expert guidance. So with that, I'd like to hand over to Ross to give a little bit more about Chalk. Thank you. So I'm going to be going through how Euphoria Chalk works briefly and then jumping on to a demonstration. So Euphoria Chalk is an app that allows a field technician and a remote expert to connect with one another, which allows them to solve a problem together. It's available on phones, tablets, and on desktop. So it's basically a video call, but both participants look at the technician's camera. But the real great thing about it is it allows you to draw annotations that are anchored to the real world, which allows you to move around and draw accurate markups that, so that you can easily communicate with each other. If you move your camera away from the annotations, useful wayfinding arrows will show you the way back to where those annotations were drawn. When you complete the call, you'll get a session summary, which you can then use to document the resolution. So we're going to get on to the demonstration just to explain to you how it's going to work. I'm going to be our field technician or a customer, and I'm going to be asking for assistance. So I'm on site. I am just sitting at home in my office slash spare room, um, but I've got a problem here that needs solving. So I'm going to be getting help from Lefuno Funo. He's our remote expert today, and he's going to be giving me assistance from home. So he could also be in the office um, at like a help desk type of thing, but because of lockdown, he's at home. So this is the nice thing. He can do this um, remotely. So I'm just going to quickly disable my background blur so that you can see what I'm looking at here. Um, so you should be able to see me now properly with my background. So I've got a gas heater over there and I've got a problem with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to give Lefuna Funa a call and let's see if he can help me. Hello, Lufuna Funo speaking. Hi, Lufuna Funo. I've got a problem over here. I'm hoping that you can help me. Okay, what is your problem? Okay, so I've got this gas heater. Um, it's actually the first time that I've used it and I've just finished the gas. So I've got a new bottle, um, but I'm a bit nervous of taking out the old one. It's, well, you know, I've seen those explosions in the movies, so <laughs> I don't want that to happen here. So can you help me do this safely? Yes, no problem. Uh, you've definitely come to the right place. I will gladly assist you. Um, let's use Euphoria Chalk. Uh, that way I can be able to explain what to do and show you clearly. I'm going to share my screen here so that the audience can see what I'm looking at. Okay, great. I'm going to put my phone on speaker so that I can pick up my iPad. All right, so I'm going to start a session here and then generate a code and then I'm going to share that code with you so that I can assist you through Euphoria Chalk. OK, that sounds great. OK, so I'm going to uh, once I share this code with you, I'm going to hang up and then we can continue the chat through Euphoria. OK, perfect. All right. Uh, this code, uh, once it loads, um, there are a couple of options that one can use to share. You can either share them via the phone as we are going to do now. We can either share them uh, via email as well. I can also copy the link and have him join the session. Uh, I, see, I see that it's not, something is not right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to restart my, uh, what you call, my browser again. Okay, not a problem. Okay, let me just drop that. All right. So I've got my Euphoria Chalk 
app open here on my iPad. And when I open it, I can join a session. So while the Funofuno gets that back online, I'll be just using this join a session, which I can, the, the nice thing about it is I could be someone with other license for the software and I can still get help from an expert like Lefunofuno. So hopefully he, there we go. It seems like his session is starting now. <clears throat> okay, just give me a few seconds to have my my uh, screen, my stuff in order here. Okay, so right now it's generating a unique code, which means that anyone would be able to join it, um, but it's a nice long code, so not anyone can just guess. Um, I'm sure you've heard of the term Zoom bombing, it's happening quite a lot. So the nice thing about this is it is a secure connection. It seems as if Murphy was let into the country. He has obviously been a lapse in our lockdown somewhere okay. along the way. All right, I'm just going to give it another try. Just close this out again. Yeah, running. Please bear with us while we <laughs> try and sort out these technical difficulties. Seems like there's a connection problem for Lufuno Funo. Okay. Start session. There we okay. go. So <laughs> Alright, so here's the code. Uh, 407-596-239. Great, okay, I'm joining the session now. Okay, I will, will speak through before you. Yeah? I'm hanging up now, bye. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to share my video here. So you can see what I'm looking at. Um, I've got this gas heater over here. So as soon as I start the call and share my video, what I do is I just move my iPad around slowly. This creates a map of the environment in 3D, which means that if I try and draw on screen, those annotations stick to the real world. So let's let's give it a go. All right, so I can see your heater. First things first is to you need to make sure that everything is off. So please have a look at that dial over there. Ensure that it's off, please. Okay. Oh goodness, I've seen that I've left it on. So let me just turn it off quickly. Okay, it's off there now. What's next? Great. So now if you are, uh, maybe let's say you had low connection or your, your speed was uh, low, there's this tool here called the low bandwidth mode. Uh, if I turn it on, as you can see, so what it does is that it drops the frame rate but keeps the resolution high. That way you have an uninterrupted stream and you are able to assist each other even though uh, your connection is not so great. But in this case, because uh, we don't really need it, uh, I can turn it off since you've seen how it works. Okay, so I've moved around to the back now. Um, what, what you can see on the left hand side there is those wayfinding arrows. So those are useful if I've missed something, I can just quickly point my tablet back in that direction and it shows me where those annotations are that we drew earlier. Okay, so what, what do I do now? Okay, 
Um, so I just need to have a look at that area there. Please move close a bit. Okay. Yeah, it seems to be a bit dark. So what I'm going to do, I have a tool here that allows me to turn on your torch. So I'm just going to turn it on to see if I can maybe get a better view. Oh, awesome. So my iPad's flashlight is just turned on. Yes, and I can see clearly now. So what I'm going to do is just um, I'm able to pause your screen, which gives me a bit of uh, a steady uh, stream so that I can be able to study the connection. Uh, I see what needs to happen. So I need you to close that valve tightly in that direction. Mm -hmm. Oh, so I see that uh, notation. Um, just go back there. I'm going to redraw it for you again. There we go. I need you to close that valve. Close it in that direction, please. Okay, I think I need two hands to do this. So I'm just going to put my iPad down. Okay, I've tightened it. So now when I pick up my iPad again, the really nice thing is all those annotations are stuck exactly where you first drew them. So it frees up my hands if I need both of them. So that step is now done. What do I do now? All right, so the next thing will be to remove the, to, to remove the regulator. You can do that by loosening that uh, connection over there. Okay, let me give that a try. It's not okay. budging. All right, remember, for safety reasons, this one is a left-hand thread, so you need to turn it clockwise. Oh, yes, okay. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, so all I need to do then is remove that, and then I'll just go ahead and take this plate off, and then I can replace it with a new bottle. So right. I think I've got it handled from here. If I've got any more problems, I'll give you a call. All right. Cool. Well, thanks, Lefuno. So now the call is done. I get presented with a session summary. So let me just show you what that looks like. Okay. So the session summary is a screen that you see here. Um, and basically what it is is the Euphoria Chalk captures the points of interest during the session. The points of interest are where all of those annotations were drawn. So then once the call is complete, we're presented with that session summary. The captures can then be exported and they could be added to work orders as evidence of work completed, or they could be shared as part of a quality control process. They could also be shared, as, shared with colleagues to share knowledge of what I've just learned. I could also use it to create markups on the equipment and share that feedback with my designers for improvements for their next iteration. With that, thank you, back to Lucky. Thank you very much, uh, Ross. I think if I have a puncher, you know, for my car, I'm probably going to, you know, use this before a chalk to make sure that, you know, Lufuno Funo, you help me to actually put a jack and make sure that I take off the wheel and put another one. This is a cool solution. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just now going to hand over to Deboho, uh, who will then obviously uh, take us through some of the questions that maybe some of our attendees might have with regards to this real-time solution. Um, we open for your question time, and I'm just going to now hand over to uh, Deboho so that Deboho can just uh, you know, take us through. Maybe there are some of the questions that you may have. Uh, we've got experts in here who will be able to attend to your questions. Deboho. All right. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Um, thank you for also, you know, engaging with us in the chat. It has been quite informative. I actually found a few, few key points that I myself, um, you know, would like to uh, explore further. 
but one of the things that first came up to us was, um, you know, with, with regards to the panel, I'd just like to ask them, uh, what is the current offering for Vivoria Chalk? So there are two basic forms um, that the, the licensing takes. Um, the first one is called a host license. And that is the solution that we use today. Um, it's a sort of solution that is typically used where you've got a support center and you want to be able to take um, calls from anyone out there, any member of the public. Um, so that is where you have the host, which in this case was played by Lufuno Funo, um, who takes a call through the normal means um, and then generates a code and passes that code out to to the customer in the field who need, need support. So uh, that means that when Lucky is battling to change the tire on his, his fancy car because he doesn't even know where the jack is, um, that he can just call up and get support on, on that. Um, just a, a quick comment on, on that. Um, Murphy did play their role today um, in terms of it taking a little bit of time to get that code out. I see there was a question about that. Um, you know, I've never seen it take that long, but uh, you know, they always say you should never do a demo live, but uh, the fact that it didn't run smoothly proves to all of you, hopefully, that it was, it is actually live. Um, and then the, the second um, type of license is a user or client license. And that is where an organization really wants to be able to use Chalk to communicate between members within its organization. Um, so then anyone in that organization who has access to that license can call another person um, without having to go through a host um, to, to get the, the call going. So I hope that answers that question. I think it does. I mean, for me, it, I understand both licenses. Um, we've got another question here uh, where the guys are asking if we could just give a quick overview of the engine um, as to, you know, how does the engine work for Vuforia and how do we kind of capture the, the annotations? What models are used is basically the, the question. So, um, Russ? Okay. So, um, I think at the beginning, Charles just mentioned the you know, Euphoria engine. So, Euphoria engine is, it's basically where Euphoria started. So, Euphoria was their own company before PDC acquired them. So, that's basically the foundation of where all this augmented reality technology comes from. So, typically, um, people develop solutions in um, a, pr a program called Unity. So in Unity, um, you get a Euphoria engine plugin. Um, and so you use that if you want to develop something like a game. So you'll see games out there. Um, there's Lego games and stuff like that that are built using that Euphoria engine. So that's basically the underlying um, platform. Um, so the problem with that is it is more built for games. So it's not ideal for um, like industry uh, or to use it like for an industrial application. So PDC took that foundational technology and really streamlined it for industry. So Euphoria Studio is very similar to what you would do there in Engine, but it, they just made it so much easier to work with um, your CAD data that you might already have of your products that exist um, that you can then use to put together instructions um, using that those 3D models that you have. Then um, what we're looking at today is also using that, that same technology, but just using the it to build up the map of what we're looking at in the in the real world and drawing those an annotations on top of it. Euphoria um, Expert Capture, again, um, similar concept. It's just using that foundational technology to build up the map. And 
it uses that map to make sure that when you're going through instructions, these instructions are a little bit different to um, using graphical elements. They'll be more like a procedure that you need to carry out. So if it's, um, I don't know, maybe an example in these times is doing a, running a test for COVID-19, you might have someone in a lab that needs to follow a specific procedure that'll say, go to this fridge, take this out, test this, whatever, and it does that in the form of screenshots or videos um, while you've walk, walked around that lab. So those are those are the main things. I hope I've answered that question. Uh, I think you, you've covered quite, quite enough uh, and explored that question quite well, Ross. Thank you for that. Um, Charles, this one is simply for you uh, because you spoke about the licenses. We have a question from Vishlan asking if the licenses can work concurrently. So the the licenses um, for the the host um, each host would need a a license. Um, that host would typically be in one call with one person that they are supporting. Um, so if you had um, five people at your support desk, you would need to have um, five people five licenses um, and similarly in the way that um, if you were using the user license or the client licenses then um, anyone who um, who needed a license would need to be registered as a user in the system so they essentially work in that case on a named user basis I hope yeah. that addresses that question. Uh, I think that it does. Um, I'd just like to give a little bit opportunity for maybe one more question uh, from our guests. Uh, but from my side, you know, I'd always just wanted to know with the development of technology, is it possible to have uh, more than one um, user using the four area uh, along with an expert? Okay, so that um, feature is on the product roadmap, so it should be coming quite soon. Um, there's actually a lot of features on that roadmap that should uh, really enhance um, the experience. So another feature that's coming is the ability to have a chat um, like you would on WhatsApp. Um, so PVC is re releasing monthly updates to Chalk um, so that it keeps getting better and better. So hopefully one day soon we will see the ability to have more than just two people in a call. Oh. So I'd just like to, to follow up on, on that. Um, as Ross mentioned, there, there are monthly um, releases of the software at the moment. The software is fairly new. Um, I can't remember exactly when it was released, but um, certainly probably about nine months ago at the most, um, and it is being being rapidly developed. So um, you might feel that you're not getting a very mature um, or capable product at, at this stage, um, but PTC has been running um, in conjunction with or to, to support people during the COVID-19 crisis um, access to the, the full functionality of the software at no additional cost. Um, that, that unfortunately will expire at the end of August, um, but they are introducing a, a huge um, discount of 70% on the on the software till the the end of September. So I suppose this is to encourage people to get in, um, and then that's that's at a much reduced price, and then the functionality is sure to to grow in the coming months. Um, all right. 
that that sounds wonderful. I think we're going to take uh, just two more questions and then we're going to wrap this session up or this portion of our session. Um, the final question is, is a little bit of a curveball. What makes this uh, product different from, let's say, getting a WhatsApp call and, and doing uh, the whole session over WhatsApp instead of uh, the chalk? OK, so um, I see the question. So um, they are acknowledging, so yeah, there's obviously the ability to draw those annotations. So I don't know if you've done a video call, maybe you need to help someone, I don't know, reset the Wi-Fi router or something or yeah. find the code on their Wi-Fi router. You'll say it's that number over there and you can't point it out. So this just makes it so much easier to communicate effectively. So that's one of the features. Um, of course, we're both looking at the same um, screen. Um, so it's it's much easier to understand what we're what we're talking about. Um, the the other thing is it's optimized for this sort of scenario. So you have that low bandwidth mode that you can turn on um, if you are struggling with connectivity. And um, then there's also other features that are, are still coming down the line, um, such as the ability to share documents quickly via um, or during a call. So if you need to share something, maybe a, a technical diagram with someone, you can do that. Oh, I think, I think that, that's the, wonderful. The point, the point, if I may just um, make to Boho, um, yes, is that I think that until you've actually um, use the for the 3D annotations. You don't really understand how powerful it is. Uh, I think you've got to remember that this is an application which is aimed specifically at working in a um, a fairly a fairly complex industrial sort of workspace. Um, you know, it's not it's not just a case of looking at a whiteboard and and reading the writing or the notes off that. You need to actually sometimes be able to to move around. Um, you know, and that is exactly what you know happened in the little demo that we did. Um, you need to move to be able to actually see something, and then you need you know those little annotations that you've got actually identify exactly what it is that you've, you're doing. Um, and then obviously, I think the, the fact that you get a record of what went through is extremely useful where you're actually needing to, to have some sort of traceability and quality control in terms of what actually went on. Um, so that's a, a, very, a very powerful um, capability. OK, I think, you know, we've covered quite extensively. So just to kind of wrap it up as a three part final question, uh, you know, we spoke about the roadmaps there. Do we have any distinct dis differentiators being the first question? And then uh, secondly, where have we implemented the, the technology in South Africa? And then just finally, how can our um, kind of uh, guests get the, the actual product? How easy is it for them to actually join us and start working with us? Uh, long list of, um, <laughs> of questions. <laughs> Um, All right, let, let's go through them one by one. So the thing uh, I think where we should start is just the roadmaps. Are there any distinct differentiators? Um, um, I have a, a feeling that maybe that question was relating to the earlier one um, about the difference between it and a, a WhatsApp call. So it's the annotations and that session summary are the two standout differentiators. OK. Perfect. And then where have we implemented the technology in South Africa? There is, um, there are some people in the mining industry which are um, using the, the um, technology, making use of the free version of the technology. Um, but um, no, as far as I know, and in terms of people who we it hasn't been sold to anyone 
Um, people who've signed up for the free trial, we don't necessarily know all of those people. And then right. I think um, the last question was, you know, how to get hold of it. I think the the best way would be to either contact Lucky at Intrinsic to Zumba Group um, or to Boho. I'm sure they can contact you um, at Product One. Uh, we can. Our website is um, prod one uh, dot com. Next um, contact details there. Okay, perfect. I think uh, that for me has answered our Q and A session. Um, I'd just like to hand over back to Lucky. Thank you very much, uh, Deboho, for the questions, and thank you very much again to the team, Charles and Ross and Lufuna Funo. And once again, thank you to all our guests, our attendees today. We really believe that you have uh, learned something around Vuforia uh, Chalk and uh, for joining us for this session. This is a real powerful tool for real time that can reduce the cost in terms of uh, driving to a particular environment. And I see that this could be also ideal, especially now with COVID-19, some of our engineers that are actually in the field requiring you know, our assistance. From where we are at the moment, we're quite excited because we feel that this is a good solution for the right you know, people in right industries. So thank you very much once again for joining me. We will share the presentation with all the attendees uh, today, maybe as well as the link for the video so that you may be able to see. But once again, this is a real time. So you see it and you solve it together. And that is Vuforia Chalk. Thank you from Product One and Intrinsic Zumba. Thank you very much and see you soon. So if you need assistance, please don't hesitate to contact me either on one on one. You can send me an email or myself and Deboho. We are glad to actually assist you, but enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you very much. Bye.